Yo, what's up, yo? This is Killer Priest, and I'm representing right now for Kofi Universe. That universe is the universe you should be in. YouTube salute. Three Stacks says it would be a challenge to make a good rap album at 48 years young. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video, hit that sub button, click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. So Andre 3000 has made his return to music last year with a solo album titled New Blue Sun, which was the first piece of new music from him in over 17 years. However, the fans left disappointed as it was only an instrumental project and didn't feature any rapping from Three Stacks. So um, his new interview, that's out. If you want to check it, it's on Highs. Nobody. He revealed that he missed rapping and would love to make a rap album. I would love to make a rap album, he said. It's just, I just think it would be an awesome challenge to do a fire ass album at 48 years young. That's probably one of the hardest things to do. I would love to do it. That's the cool thing about the whole ride. It really is a ride. Um, in an interview with NPR, he stated that the rap is just not coming from him at the moment. I love rap music because it was a part of my youth. So I would love to be out here with everybody rapping because it's almost like fun and being on the playground. I would love to be out here playing with everybody. It's just like not happening for me. This is the realest thing that's coming right now. Not to say I would never do it again. But those are not the things that are coming right now. I have to present what's given to me at this time. Um, let me jump in. Yeah, I agree with him. Like you gotta, you gotta, something gotta give you that that spark. Something gotta actually, you know, make you feel like I have that childlike feeling again. It's kind of like even you know, if somebody goes to the gym and they work out. You got your own plan. You got your own regimen, what you do. When you switch things up, it's like, okay, you know, I like this now. I might start incorporating this, incorporating this into my regimen, like something different so you won't feel like you're stagnated. Look at Nas. Nas, you know, when he got with Hit Boy, Nas turns 50, 50 last year. So when he got with Hit Boy, he was putting out what? For the last couple of years, 2023, 2022, 2021, 2020, for like from 46, 46, yeah, 46, 47, 48, 49. He's making albums, classic albums, some of his best work ever. And Hit Boy gave him that, that spark. I feel like with Andre 3000, not to say he couldn't, you know, go to or organize noise and get them to, you know, give him some great production like they've done in the past. I feel like sometimes he might have to maybe go out and search. Maybe go get like a no ID producer. I'm talking about producer wise. Maybe go link up with Easy Mo B, Large Professor, you know, The Alchemist, Static Selector. You know, I'm not I'm not saying Dr. Dre and them. Don't get me wrong. You have to go look for something. You know, I know he likes the instrumental as far as like the jazzy type of um, feel. DJ Quick has that. He provides that type of production. You might want to go that route. So there's there's various producers that you can actually tap in and get a different flow. And you can maybe just play around and give me some beats. Let me see something. Like yada yada yada. Feel somebody connect with somebody that you know. Like you know what this person right here, they gonna give it to me. Like they are gonna make sure I have that fire. And all I gotta do is bring my flames. You know, maybe even going overseas, linking up with some people that do Afro beats and you know, producers in the in Ghana, Kenya, South Africa, the UK, you know, Australia, whatever it has to be. I mean, he knows himself better than anybody else or somebody else from the outside would know, like, hey man, won't you try this or try that? Or switch it up. Switch it up, you know, go, go get out your comfort zone. I mean, he already said he grew up as love and try. Link up with Q tip. Q tip definitely got some bomb ass, you know, beats. He's done great things in the past with, for people. So it's like, you might want to try him, you know, but I feel like working with some producers that have great production, but they might not be on a mainstream level. 
you might want to link up with them because they have more time to be creative. But like I said, if you're trying to link up with somebody that's going to give you the beast that you that will provide you the best sound, the alchemist, that's one. Derringer from the Griselda camp. Um, Hit Boy, that's another one. Um, Havoc of Mob Deep. Like I said, we got West Coast producers, DJ Quick. I mean, they all out there. They all out there. I don't want to go too much as far as to, to take them off his journey and drift. He might even want to link up with Kendrick Lamar producers because Kendrick Lamar, he picks great producers also. So, you know, it's just something to throw out there. But um, I believe if he did drop a rap album, it would be dope. It would be fire. I don't know about features right now. I mean, he can do a feature with somebody from the past as far as like linking up with Method Man. You know, that will always be tight. You know, maybe new people like J. Cole. That would be dope. J.I.D. from the South. Um, T.I. Bun B. We talking about West Coast. Maybe like a Vince Staples. Maybe a Kendrick. You know, who knows? I mean, it's up, it's up to him where he's flowing. But I would love to see a um, rap album. You know, we're going to um, speak that into the universe that we get a rap album from Andre 3000. But y'all let me know what you think. Post your comments below. Post smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.